going on guys, Paradox here, and welcome to a new Darkscape guide. Uh, so if you are an 07 old school RS player, or you're a returning player who quit before EOC and uh, locked in and said, what the hell is this interface, then this guide is for you. Uh, so to start off with, when you get in here, you can either use the RS3 uh, layout where you can get all these tabs, move them around wherever you want, or you can hit the escape button, this menu will pop up, go to game settings and click on legacy mo interface mode this will bring it back to something that you probably recognize a bit more where you can get all your stats and all your tabs down here and your minimap up there chat box but if you do not want that go on back and uncheck that so with RS3 you have full customization over everything on your screen so like you see you can move your backpack around anywhere you want resize it to whatever size uh, if you'd like 4x6, by, uh, four by you can use it like that. 4x7, uh, rather. <laughs> but uh, So put that wherever you want. You can resize your minimap. The minimap is pretty big in RS3, so move that wherever you want so you can see the whole screen. Uh, go down here, you can choose your skills. Put that wherever you want. You can change the grid size so that you like to whatever you like. Make a logical order with the uh, inventory. And uh, you can bring out your worn equipment stats. Uh, you can either make it this size, or if you drag it to a larger size, you can see your character, and then you can scroll yourself around, see all your fashion scape, your Addy Two Hands, or whatever you got on yourself. Uh, Addy Two Hand is probably the most likely, but uh, you can open up your melee abilities. This is probably similar to what you're used to on our old school. Uh, you got your four combat styles, uh, your auto retaliate, and your spec bar. But just fool around with that for a while. Uh, get a layout that you like. Don't be afraid to take half an hour to just screw around with it and uh, figure out something nice because you're going to be looking at it for a long time and uh, just try to find something that works for you. So once you find the thing that you like, uh, you come out into here and save it as custom one and that way if you screw up your interface like it is now, you can come back here and click on your saved custom one and it'll bring you to what you saved it as. So this is mine. Uh, I think this is a pretty decent layout and once you get it the way you like, you can click the L key and that will lock everything so that you can't move it now. So if you accidentally click on something and move it, you can't do that anymore. Uh, and you see these big headers like this? If you don't want this, you can come into hit escape again, bring this menu up, interface settings, I believe it's in interface settings at least, and slim headers. And that way you won't get those big blocky texts up there. Uh, getting into some more obscure things, uh, see how you have to hit enter and then type and then uh, hit enter again to talk. If you don't want that, go into this little icon here, always on mode, so that way you can talk as if you're in old school. You don't have to hit enter first, you can just say hi and just like that. Uh, other little things, profanity filter, if you see a bunch of stars from people swearing and you don't want that, just click this little button here, that'll turn it off. All these little buttons are um, are kind of like the tabs in old school where you click to say if you want your private chat off. So you just click to cycle these on. If you want your private chat off so that no one can talk to you, just click on that. Things like that. Uh, those are your emotes now. Private chat, clan chat. And moving into some more complex things. See my XP tracker up here? If you want one of those, just click the escape button again. Interface settings come over here to interface and this is your XP tracker kind of module uh, so if you want your uh, this will be on by default I believe every skill so come over here to skill 2 say you want to train or you want to track Slayer XP click on that it'll give you a warning saying that changing to Slayer will erase all the XP that you had there before so click yes and there you go you got Slayer XP you might have to click this enable counter button by default to turn that on, but that's a pretty neat, neat feature. You can track three skills at once. Uh, also, if you have a Slayer task and you don't want to bring a gem or anything with you, click this right here, Slayer counter, turn that on, and now you have a little Slayer counter icon right there. It'll tell you how many kills left you have in the task and what your task is if you hover over it like that. Even in unlock mode, you say, I can't move uh, the, the little corners here. So you have to come out and hit escape again and go to edit mode and this will bring up uh, another little interface here and you're going to want to hit gameplay huds uh, and just look through look at the titles here and that's like bank right there 
Uh, so you now you can adjust this to wherever you like. Uh, you can move it up and then drag it down so that you have a full bank. I don't think you can make it wider, but you can move it wherever you want on the screen. Uh, you can also things like uh, boss timer. I don't know if that'll be um, in Darkscape, but other things like uh, mini games. Minigame HUD, this will be things like uh, Castle Wars or something that has like a little HUD that says uh, Team 1 has 5 points or whatever. So you can move that wherever you want if that's in your way for like XP bubbles that come up. You can move that over there so that it's not in your face the whole time. Move it wherever you want. Back here and click on Custom 1 to load that preset. But I don't think I'm going to change it so I will just save without exiting. Or <laughs> exit without saving rather. Neat feature in RS3 is the auto area loot. So, as an example, I'll drop uh, two shrimp right here, and without the setting on, I just left click, take shrimp, and then run over here, take shrimp. So that does take a lot of time if you're killing something uh, really fast that drops loot in a circle, kind of in a three block around you radius. So one, two, three around you the whole way around. So as an example, I will drop this and drop this over here and then you want to go into that menu again go to game settings and then on the tab here click on loot settings use loot inventory and use area loot so then exit out of that again and now when you left click this little menu will pop up and you can say loot all and that will loot all the things in the row there I'll give you another example I think there's a lot of things over here at the chickens and look how handy this is going to be. So you want to be careful with this mode because you because uh, right clicking does attack. So uh, you have to left click, left click, take feather, and look at that loot all, and you just looted a full inventory of stuff. That saves a ton of time if you want to bury bones. There you go, bury all those bones, and then you can also click things if you just want the feathers. You can just click the feathers. And then, say you just want the bones, you spam click the bones at one spot and it'll take all of them. And then you can just bear them. Super, super fast and efficient. But uh, if you say, if you see this egg here and you just want that egg, you don't want all these bones, right click, take, and it will just take one and the menu will not open. More advanced onto that auto loot uh, mechanic. So come back into game settings, into the loot customization. And these are going to be your filters here. So you can either loot by monetary value, then you can set a threshold that you want. So if you say 5,000 coins, uh, anything, and then you click the loot custom button, which I'll show you in a second, it'll only pick things up that are over 5k coins. But say you only wanted to pick up the bones, so uh, prayer items and nothing else. And then I will give you an example of this. So I'll drop this chicken and the shrimp and then I will drop the bones over here. So even if you're over here and you want those bones, you can click on this pile with the left click, bring up this, and then click Loot Custom, and it should only take the bones. And then you leave that stuff on the ground. See, that's just junk you don't want. So then you just pick up the bones. Uh, I'll give you an example over here. So you know that example I just gave you where you picked up all the eggs? If you don't want the eggs and you just want the bones, uh, go back over here, left click to bring up the interface again, and loot custom and there you go you just picked up the bones so you can just spam click bury those so there you get some nice prayer xp up here is uh, you can change where you respawn so say you are grinding something in uh, edgeville uh, and then you die in uh, the edgeville dungeon or something and you don't want to go back to lumbridge by default you can get set back to edgeville so you get a quicker start you can just run from there instead of uh, coming all the way back to lumbridge so that's definitely going to be handy uh, just change whatever you want for the easy and then mid you can change as well a cool setting in RS3 is these loot beam options so this is another setting uh, under this gameplay tab go to death store settings and loot beam options this is going to set your threshold so if you get a really nice item that's say over 50k cash or monetary value uh, it will give you this nice golden beam and say a little uh, thing in your chat box as well so it'll tell you if you got say a whip and you don't realize and then you see the little thing in the chat box and the beam and you say <laughs> then you can go over and pick it up uh, so a good one to put it is 50,000 and one this is because 50,000 is the threshold for spirit gems so every time you get a spirit gem it'll troll you with a beam making you think that you got something nice so just put that to 50,000 and one
and think of for uh, tips for RS3 that old school doesn't have. But if you think of anything else and you have questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer that. So have fun with Darkscape guys and I will see you with my next video.